Hey, welcome, welcome back to Ant Legion. I am Silver Ninja, and we are going over global relocates. We're going to look at where to get them, how much they cost, and the what you should do before you leave state, and before you leave alliance and leave state. Because there are some things you want to take care of. Some of them are required, and one or two things are just smart, and you may not be aware of them. So first, obviously, you can go to the cash shop and buy them. You know, I've never done it, so I don't know exactly where they are, but probably rare items. Uh, let's see. Yeah, all right, here at the top. So five bucks, I can get one global to relocate. So it can get pretty expensive depending on how many you need, okay? I don't, I don't think I've ever seen them here or daily sale. But I've never really gone looking for them. So just know that they cost five bucks per global relocate. Uh, I have seen bigger packs though. So you, there are ones where you can get them slightly, slightly cheaper. But the main place you can get them without spending real money is in the Alliance shop. Now we have 13 stocked. I bought in two when I have nothing else to buy. I'll buy one or two of them. Okay. Now, I a lot of alliances don't keep them stocked because they just don't want people jumping in, stealing a glo global and leaving without contributing to the alliance. So, just be kind. If you're going to jump into an alliance to get a global, spend a couple days and participate in events. Um, donate to the tech so that you can earn your global. But outside of that, I'm not here to stop anyone from moving states. Why do I care? People come, people go. If you're going to leave, you're going to leave. Whether I give you a global or not, you'll figure it out. So um, so I keep them stocked uh, so people can collect them as they need to. And most people that, as most people in my alliance that have ever left have said, hey, I, I have a, a friend I'm going to go with. I, have, um, I came here from another state. I want to go back, things like that. And we communicate. It's not a big deal. And I still talk to some of them. But outside of that, let's go look in here. So you have to get a global, global relocate uh, to see the requirements and if you meet them. So hit use. Now let's pick a state here. <laughs> you yourself. Nice. It's an anime thing if you didn't know. So let's go to the horny nation because that's fun. So here are the requirements you need to move states. Okay. And there's a good little list. So let's go over it. Uh, first, you can see that I need 15 of them. I only have two. So I'd have to push hard to get more. Let's see. These are always uh, some more stuff you need here, right? Relocation limits. The overlord can change immigration rules, not lower than default level. Players who exceed the immigration level limit cannot immigrate to the state. No, the overlord will need to wait one hour before changing the rules. Uh, default level will remain unchanged if the overlord makes no changes. Default level will increase as time passes. Interesting. Currently, the overlord can set the immigration limit level up to 40. When the state's conquered by a foreign state, the commander ranked number one in the state's CP leaderboard gains permission to change the immigration rules. Okay. Now... Level 15, queen is required to perform a relocation. So brand new nests have to wait. To perform a relocation, or your farms, right? To perform a relocation, all your march queues are required to be in idle status. What does that mean? You can't have marches out for anything. Not to be on a tile, not to be in Alliance Depot, not raiding nests or camping. To perform a relocation, you must leave your alliance. Okay, now... Before you leave an alliance, make sure that you use up all your tech uh, donations. Okay, let's go take a look at that. So if, here's alliance tech. I currently have four out of 20. Okay. If this is anything higher than zero, you will lose those donation attempts. Now you could say, hey, why do I want to donate to another to an alliance I'm no longer going to be in? Well, while you lose the donation attempts, you keep the coins gained by donating. Right? So there's 550 alliance coins. There's another 550. There's another 550. And that's times two. 
Sometimes, let's see if we can get a good one. There's a times five, 1,375. Sometimes they're times 10. And if you use the hot button, you get more coins. So always use the hot button. But, so while I don't get to keep my donation attempts when I leave my alliance, I do get to keep the coins. And the coins are what I want to spend even in my next alliance, okay? So let's go back. So that's just something that you'll want to do. Um, as far as when you leave an alliance, anything in the alliance vault, where's mine? Anything in the alliance vault, view details, uh, goes with you when you leave, okay? It's sent to you slowly, and if you have... Uh, if you have a ton in there, like Pokey has 29 million in there, if he were to leave the state and not spend that, then he would uh, lose all of it above his vault level. What is your vault level? Your vault level is... Vault, right here. Mine's level 30. And it's so low. I don't know why they have this so low. Like, why can't they have this at like 5 or 10 million, right? It's two, mi two million food, one million water are protected from attack, and that cannot be stolen. That's garbage. That doesn't get you anywhere. It would be great if that was much higher. <laughs> so I'm just putting that out there. There's really no point in that. But obviously you're also, unless you're doing a lot of raiding or attacking other players, uh, raiding um, inactive nests, then you shouldn't have anything up here anyway right should all be in your bag and just to go give you an example of that and I've gone over this before but since we're talking about it I'd like to show you okay I have 545 million leaves this um, accessible to me but you could attack me a thousand times and never get it because it is not up here and how do I do that I don't just come in here and accept all of these, right? I don't hit bulk and just empty this out. Okay, I have 106 million right there I could put in my in my stealable area. Don't do that. There's no need to. Just save it until you need to until you need to automatically use it. Okay? And yeah, I've mentioned that before and it's just it's just important to know that. Don't don't cash in your resource cards. Save them. Okay? I will mention that in every video that it comes up. It's important. Don't lose your resources if you don't have to. Or do. And when I come to Conquest, I'm going to take all your resources. Unless you're obviously a higher nest than me. So, you know, that's always a bonus for me. Or any other strong opponent that is going to take your shit. So let's go back to the Global Relocate. Line shop. Miscellaneous. Use. Cookies and toys. Okay. So... Uh, that's doo -doo -doo. after a relocation you will need to wait 30 days to relocate again that's self-explanatory that's to help prevent people from jumping states uh, unable to carry curios when relocating your curios might be looted when your queen station post or resource tile is attacked well that's a given whether you're um, so you can't give it up you have to put it somewhere to be taken so your, the Curios is, let's see, I think the easiest way to see those buggers is going to be on the world map. All these are the Curios, okay? So this guy here, player info, he has the Swiss Army Knife. And these are the bonuses he gets from that until he gives it up or someone takes it from him, okay? This one here is the slingshot you get an increased march speed that's probably the worst, most worthless one so that's what the curios are okay so let's go back to miscellaneous use here we'll get lucky and find one that has a lower level here all right and let's see next one here your queen level is Qualified target state requires to be lower than 40. Uh, there, and that could be 37, it could be 35. Um, and as it said, the older your state, the higher the default limit. 
So unless you you know the brand the newer states will probably be lower. These are protected. This one's open. And you can't be higher than level 26, so I wouldn't be able to move to that state. Thirty-seven for this one, right? There's a reason I chose that one, but I'm not gonna get into that. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, let's go back here. No bids uh, made in the auction house. If you're brand new and don't have a ton of damage, you don't know what the auction house is. You know, that's, let's see. That's, you know, instead of that, we'll just go and find the auction house. So the auction house is a fairly new addition. And that is under Honey Jar Auction House. And you can bid. Obviously, you can't leave the state if you have an open bid. Okay? It's also a world auction. And you could bid 100,000 diamonds, uh, 21,000 diamonds. I don't personally think it's worth it, but that is entirely up to you. I've done it once, and I got a, a fine level, not even a rare level. So, <laughs> Depending on which one you get, may not be worth it. All right, back to, oops, back to here. All right, uh, no ongoing global stump contest or conquest, not signed up, and not signed up for Spore Meadow. So basically, your weekend events you can't, you can't leave. Okay, so don't plan for that. Uh, your character creation date has met the target's relocation requirement. So you need all green check marks in order to go. And then, so that's one way to check it, but also you can go right here and you can see. So it goes up level one. You only need one up to level 20, two up to level 22, then four, four, 25 is five. And then if you're level 40, you need 70 of those buggers. Ooh. Hope you're saving up. It takes a long time to get to level 40, so if you ever plan on moving at a high level, you might as well start saving, saving up because that is expensive. All right. Come to think of it, I have seen in the cash shop a multiple one. But that is the basics of the global relocate. So remember what you need to do before you leave your alliance. And then know what you got to do before you leave the state. And that's it. So if I forgot anything uh, or got anything wrong, more importantly, let us know in the comments. I have made corrections before. Other than that, uh, have a great day and thanks for watching. Remember to keep it fun. Oops, I missed. Ah! Uh.